Nah, no, just song. kidding. That audio clip is like 30 seconds long. I'm not going to do the entire thing. You guys are on top of a train. You've just removed three marauders from your presence via force, you animals. A conductor is hiding behind a box. Abram's been shot. Aurelio has been shot. Nix has been shot. I'm also, like, pretty much dead. So. Hmm. I think okay. we're all pretty much dead. Yeah. <laughs> you have your first aid things, but now might be a good time to talk about what a short rest is. Yay! Okay. That's just when your characters take an hour or so to just, like, rest, recoup, take a nap, read a book, pick their toenails, clean out their eyebrows, like, whatever you need to do. And, um, what does cleaning out your eyebrows entail? Your eyebrows? I don't know. I'm gonna Mr. wax Dirtman. my eyebrows. Hey. <laughs> So you have these things called hit dice, and that just tells you how much health you're supposed to have at any given level, but you technically own them as if they're some kind of otherworldly possession. You have as many hit dice as you have levels, and uh, you guys are level two. What? Oh! Oh my uh, god! Yay! Yeah, I don't see why not. You guys are going to the second town, so you guys should be level two in my mind, at least for now. Uh, I don't know what any... I don't... I don't know what the level two stuff is for class. So no, don't, don't worry about it. Matter. I don't really think that okay. you're going to be like doing any crazy gunslinging uh, I'm stuff. I'm just not even going to bother looking it up because I'm too lazy. Yeah, don't worry. I <laughs> should have warned you, but that's okay. I don't think it's going to come in handy at all. Unless, well, plus, like, like, I'm not interrogation. a gunslinger yet. I have to wait till level three. Yeah. Like, I don't care if it's, okay. not, if it's not level three. <laughs> so, sh so short rest is you guys, you have two hit dice, which is just the, the 1D whatever I told you you had, and then you just roll, you while you're taking the rest, you can roll one or two or all of them, and then whatever the number adds up to, you just slap that onto your, your HP and you recover that much. And uh, then you have to wait until a long rest to get the hit dice back. So it's basically like, if you're prolonged combat, you can take like one hour between waves or something. It's a, it's a way to get some health back without expending resources. However, they are themselves resources. So wait, using our... I just want to get this straight. Using our hit die isn't the same as using the same hit die to do a medicine thing? The medicine thing is was... No, that that's different. Though different. I have okay. a feeling in the future we'll have to recap it. It's different. Is the medicine thing 1d8 and then our hit die thing is 2d4s? Yeah, no. Your hit die is the 1d8. Yeah. The medicine thing is the 2d4s. Because oh, okay. I just copied yeah, I just a potion from D and D. It's not like special. It's also a D and D concept. It's just not consumed. Though, Indeed. admittedly, you guys are probably going to be running low on supplies at some point, and I'm probably going to end up taking that power away when you guys get to higher levels and you've got insane godlike abilities that are unbeknownst to me and only known to you. Because we're using uh, for our audio listeners, we're using Hyperlanes, a spin-off edition of D and D Five E. Are you going to buy it, cheapskate? Yeah, I have to actually purchase it. Right now we're using the free demo version. Which is good enough. Only has the outlaw. <laughs> Only, Only has, has the, outlaw. the outlaw. Listen. We we need <laughs> Listen, we'll get there. You're all outlaws in the my in my eyes, in the eyes of the Lord. But Nick <laughs> the eyes of the very definite is the exact opposite of an outlaw. You're a filthy yeah. sinner. Okay. How so? <laughs> so you're on a train and if you choose you guys can take an hour to expend some hit die to recover HP. Dick. Here, filthy sinner. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Yeah. Now you're using yes. a hit die. Guys, yeah, like, to short rest. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, okay. You recover one HP, Nyx. Do you want to expend no, your second she, hit die? No, but you only rolled 1d8, not 2d4s. That's different. Sorry, yeah, wait, I just remembered. Sorry, I mixed it up again. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get there. Can, can really I call confusing. a mulligan? No, no, you cannot roll the mulligan because you didn't actually fuck up the die. You did it perfectly correct. Yay! See, Aurelio knows fuck how to play the game. You. I can't get in. Okay. What time am I rolling? Abram's not even in roll. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, but well, you guys well, can I... deal with that in your own group. You, you, you guys are there with a quivering conductor and like there's a bunch Wait. of gash marks in the top of the train. DM. And, yeah. I got a question. If it's a fucking question about these hit dice or the heely wheely thing again, I'm gonna. I, you're just gonna be kicked out of the call. I don't have a question. Okay, so you're on a train, and you guys are in the bend that is moving southward. I'm going to move you guys back to the big map. And you guys are near the coastline. Uh, you've just made it past this bend right here. You're about halfway to the city of New Pava. You see its towering structure 
far off in the distance. You don't see the city itself, mind you. You just see the, the black line that goes up until it disappears, and it goes down until it, it slides over the horizon. And hey, can I, south. Mm -hmm. can I ask to make, like, an insight roll as to what the heck just happened with, like, what we just, who we just fought? Like, uh, I, I you have here. an NPC you can talk to if like, you want to try okay. that first. Hey, dude. Yeah. What the hell was that? Marauders. How'd this guy sound? <laughs> See, these Old. people just... Well, New Pavo's been bringing a lot of civilization to the West, but there's still some people out there who are a little um, rambunctious, and they're taking advantage of the new supply lines being put in. We, we got plenty of railroad, and it's actually kind of easy to make train routes and things like that, but it's, it's less easy to have people manning them every, like, three miles with guns. We can't protect everything all the time, and... Well, I mean, this is a slow train, all right? People can catch up sometimes. We don't have any of the fancy bullet trains like in New Pavo. I see. Yeah, uh, just me and old Betsy here to protect us, and he pulls out, like, an old-fashioned, like, lever-action shotgun. From Why didn't you use that? <laughs> you guys seemed like you had it under controls. I almost died. You're she fine, almost though. Died. You're totally she fine. Died. The shotgun has got a range of like ten feet. What do you expect from me? <laughs> to shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fine. Just you know, keep an eye out when you're moving from places to places that are that are really far away, because you never know what you might find. Is this common? Well, unfortunately, it's not uncommon. It's not rare. I mean, it's it's almost it's more than like six hundred miles to New Pava. We're bound to reach someone at some point who's got good thinking and prerogative. They're just here to steal stuff. From they're here to steal they stuff. Just... I mean, they're not they're not usually killers. They just take things. Okay, I see. No, you'll be surprised at what kind of uh, money you can get on the black market for some of the things being transported on this train. But they oh, usually just take things like food and water and fuel. Can I roll insight to see, like... Yeah, but is, do you have, like, a specific question in mind? I, you can roll insight, sure. What What are the things that are on the, the train that already has I can't get? Uh, the things that Aurelio has already seen? Um, okay, the crystal thing. Letters, yeah, those those light blue crystals and, like, the big troughs, food... Do I food. know what the light blue crystals are? Uh, 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 uh now you should roll history <laughs> or uh, okay. insight. Probably like, insight. Okay, probably insight. You can roll inside to figure out what those things were. Wait, people can see my Google searches. I don't want to do that on OBS. Can't look up porn right now. <laughs> oh um, God! You, mm, you know that it's a it's a mineral. Wait, there's a fucking NPC right here. You can just ask him. Hey, dude, what are those crystals? <laughs> oh, that that's sargassum. It's a type of mineral that's really, really conductive. It's good for, like, wires and electricity and stuff like that. And, and Lunaris eats that shit up like it's candy. Why? What do you mean? Why? Because you, you know what, like, the <laughs> copper standard is? Well, this is, even, this is even better. It's, like, near 100% near efficiency electricity, like, transferring. So, like, no heat loss. It's just really, oh. really good for, for electricity for wires, for, for conduits and things like that. It, it, it's really good as, like, you can you can grind it up and turn it into a powder, and it'll uh, work that way, but usually it's it's just, like, pieced, piecemeal together. I don't actually really know how they do it. I'm just a lowly conductor, and we, we sure as hell don't use any of this stuff in Tenby, but, like, more advanced Lunaris people tend to, tend to use it for their shit. Well, if you ask me, that sounds pretty sarg awesome. Get off my train. <laughs> All right, sir. I'm sorry. It's a uh, mine mostly from the mountains and from like the black sands. How far oh. away is the nearest mine? Oh, now 500 miles back towards Tenby. It used to be a uh, mining mining area over there. I think that, way. um, oh, what's his face? The, the scruffy guy was trying to open up the mines again. What was his name? Sal? Pa yeah, that's it. 
Hmm. Excuse me one moment while I flip through my notes that nobody can see because that would be spoilers. <laughs> Yeah, Tenby no. is just south of the Black Hills. It's just this big old space of land, and it's it's just black sands for miles and miles, and it's it's really barren. But the area like directly around it is is rich with this stuff. Like the sand is actually black. It's just it's just black dirt. Black sands, black dirt, black black black. I hear the sound of rolls. <laughs> oh, it covers a lot of the continent, actually. You can see it from space. Oh, that's kind of strange. No wonder Lenoris is so interested. Eh, it, it's good for me. I ship it, and he makes like, he, he rubs his fingers and his thumb together. The money symbol, the international, interdimensional yeah. symbol for the fucking bucks baby <laughs> all right well i think that's enough exposition for you guys <laughs> why don't why am i i'm becoming an, a smoker before your eyes i can feel the cancer <laughs> setting in <laughs> maybe you should get back up to the uh controls yeah that's probably a good idea and then he walk he walks off he like jumps down off the train and then down and starts making his way back across the trusses Man, I'm so glad he finally left us alone with those crystals. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Can I go over and take some? I There's nothing stopping me as a DM, but your conscience might. <laughs> Not at all. I, uh, I know what I need to do, and I do it, but I'm going to roll sleight of hand for it, just in yeah, case. Yeah, you do need to roll sleight of hand, because there's more to stealing and sleight of hand than just, like, do you do 26. it quickly? Well, Not okay. 20. Oh my gosh. All right, how, mu how much do you take? I'm going to say that you're limited by how much you can carry. And uh, I have a basket okay. that I can put my cloak oh over. Concealing it from from view is a different role, by the way. So if you, like, fill it's up your pants. not sleight of hand? What? No. Well, I mean, sleight can of I hand is... I roll a nat 20? <laughs> okay, roll, you roll a nat 20, and you, <laughs> you see that some of the pieces have actually, like, spilled off over onto the floor. And, like, there's things in the cracks, and, like, you, you can easily see, like, enough of them to grab that literally no... Even if this was, like, measured via, like, mass on a scale or something to see if anybody had been skimming off the top, like, you think you can steal enough in a, in a way that you would not really have it be noticed. But if you say, like, I take three gallons, then we're gonna oh, yeah. have to make more rolls than that. If you take, like, a handful, then it, it'll be different. I take a yeah. handful. Okay. That's all I and you're just gonna put it in the fucking basket and cover I put it, it in the basket and cover you, it like my a cloak. fucking egg just, like, bag. Take it off the, yeah. All right. My goodies. Can, I'm like can, Red Riding Hood. What? Can you what? Can the other character see this? Like, I, this unless Aurelia doing? rolls stealth, then yeah, you 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 watch him go nice, and then turn yeah. around and walk like halfway <laughs> I do. down. The I do watch him inside, do this. And jump inside the cargo <laughs> thing. Actually, I'm really not worried about you guys seeing me do this. The cargo <laughs> thing that you guys were fighting on top of, that's like torn up with where the claws of like the wheel bike had dug into. This is mm -hmm. it. He just jumps inside, and there's just this giant trough of, of blue crystalline, colory things, and he's just like scooping them into his fucking basket. Um, I speak up, though, and I say, listen, before you judge me, we're gonna need money to keep us going on whatever little adventure we're going on. And I keep scooping them into my back. <laughs> I, I really have no intention of saying that. It's <laughs> like wrong. a greedy little chipmunk. <laughs> like a greedy little chipmunk. Um, something, I'm gonna <laughs> tell you this. Watches. I'm gonna tell you this because you rolled pretty well on inside. This stuff isn't actually worth that much. It's not like it's not diamonds. They're not. They look yeah. like diamonds, but they're not diamonds, and they're not. But they're like worth gold. at least some. Yeah, they're worth like in, their weight in like scrap would be and stuff like that. It's like they're like copper. It's essentially the same thing. It's all it's over this fucking planet. Like this planet has this shit everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's just like there's money. pockets of it. Yeah, I'm gonna say that you get. Um, uh, I'm gonna roll that, and then I'm gonna add it to this. You get, yeah, you get, uh, 12, 12 credits worth. 12 oh, Sargassum good. units. Nice. Yeah. Do I have to wait to sell those to, like, to, like... Uh, if you want to have the experience of role-playing okay. that and doing it and having it make sense, like, story-wise, and just for your own sake, then I'll say, yeah, you do. But you, okay. if you want to 
you can just be like i have that money essentially and no, i sell it i just at... i want i just want the things okay I'll, I'll figure it out later yeah something to consider on that is that oh well do you can say like oh yeah i just want it to turn into money immediately but i'm gonna then put in story that your character sold that at the soon as possible convenience so if you reach a point in the story later where you're like wait a minute i have like a bunch of things of, of Sir Gossam, and I want to, like, pass them off as diamonds and fool this character, I'm going to have to remind you that, like, no, you sold them at your earliest possible convenience. So that I mean, if they're really money. popular on this planet, I don't think... Yeah, I just wanted to... No, you don't have to <laughs> micromanage it, but if you want to, then by no, all I means, I'll facilitate you. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll figure that out in a later date. All right, so right now you just got a, ba a basket full of, of diamonds. You're just you putting this basket to use, huh? Rolling it. Yeah, you got your 12 points on top of whatever money you started with, and I think you spent some money on the yellows. It's I your spent, job I to I spent one credit on yellows. Yeah. Okay, They're so you like guys point. are still moving, and um, again, you start to see water. Uh, this time, though, you're uh, on a, a much, like, lower plane, and it's the kind of, like, the sand that you're you're now going through is still, like, desert, but it's gotten lighter in color, and it's become a lot more, fa like, pale, and uh, it's, like, sea, sea, ocean sand, beach sand, that's the word. <laughs> and uh, from very far off, like a maybe a couple miles, maybe within within three miles, within the curvature of the planet that you're on, which is, I guess is technically like six miles, but we'll get to the math later, you see blue, like off in the distance. And it's not like the water that you were plowing through earlier. Like it's it's the actual ocean for realsies. And you can you can just barely see it as it gets down to twilight. It's gotten quite dark because it's, well, I mean, it's, it's nighttime now, but you can see like waves like way off in the distance if you've got exceptionally good perception. Some of you who might have like a robotic eye that zooms in, like fuck, you can see some waves crashing and stuff like that. But others of you that have like mad eye moody eyes, <laughs> then you're just gonna have to accept the fact that you see. I see in the dark. You do see in the dark though. Fuck yeah. Well, it, it, it's like green then. Stop forgetting my sight. <laughs> an ocean in, in shades of green or gray. I'm not quite sure what you wanted to use. I guess it's a personal preference. I'm like a dog. <laughs> Uh, night vision, the only reason everything is colored green is because human eyes can perceive the most shades of green as opposed to any other color. And that's Weird. why they use green for night vision goggles. The more you okay. know. Holy shit. Yeah, and you bump along and you actually reach a tiny little grassy patch. And it feels good. You see, like, actual, like, seagrass. There's reeds. You see, like, a few small brush like, uh, bushes. Very spiky and they've got, like, bright blue berries on them. Um, you're traveling pretty slowly, so you can you can see pretty everything pretty clearly. Uh, you've actually noticed that the train has slowed down, just like a tad. It's like maybe going at 70% the speed that it was, and you're not quite sure why. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that you're near water, and he's worried about like oh the tracks might have gotten like washed away or like the sand has shifted or something. Um, but as as it stands, you guys are now in pretty much the dead center of the map, halfway to your journey to New Pavo. The, the yeah. lights of uh, the space elevator, Jacob's project, they call you beaconily, be beaconish like. <laughs> and then oh. you hear the bumps as you bump along this incredibly massive bridge that is mostly made of wood, but also a lot of plastic and a lot of metal. Kind of like a suspension bridge, except it suspends itself from like one tall pillar that. Uh, it buries itself deep in the sand, and you see the sand like going down and down and down as this bridge like you never go up at any point. You feel like you're staying level, and the sand is like going down out from under you until you're just straight up over the ocean with these tall concrete pillars that are like maybe ten stories high, then thirty, probably higher than that, quite a few stories high, suspending you up over over a vast sea of blue. And it's nighttime. It's also getting pretty late. You guys might want to consider just going to Betty Buys. Unless you get attacked again. Unless you get attacked again. However, that would be pretty fucking impressive out in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> I mean, those... those <laughs> you get attacked by real pirates. Oh, yeah. If any of you guys want to stay up, that's cool. Long resting is not necessarily like, I actually sleep. It could be like, oh, I, I rest my weary head and I sleep for six hours and... Uh, Maintain right, my armor for two. You guys might want to consider making turn orders and stuff like that, for like swapping off on watches if you think that it's a legitimate problem. You guys have been attacked in the middle of the. Abram thinks it's a legitimate problem. Who is keeping? Aurelio watch? also thinks it's a legitimate problem. I will Figure keep watch. 
first time, I guess, and then okay. also switch with me. Look, I mean, you're sleeping for eight hours, so what is that? That's like eight divided by three. You're, you're doing two and a half hours roughly each, and then you wake up another person, and then you carry on with sleepy buys. All right, I'll do the first two and a half hours, and I'll just sit on top of the train. A bum. Okay. <laughs> you, you all good? Yep. All yep. right, Nyx, you sleep like a baby on the flatbed <laughs> next, <laughs> year, next to your motorcycle as you go out over the ocean. Abram, you're probably sleeping nearby. Do I get all my hit points back? Yeah, when you long rest, you get all your hit points back. You don't need to worry about the short rest stuff. I just wanted to make sure that we had the understanding before it, be before it became an issue. Oh. Abram sleeps ramrod straight, his hand on his sword at all times. <laughs> his eyes are open, actually. It's pretty weird. He's like snoring, but like looking at you. I like to think that like when Abram goes to sleep, he like paints on fake eyes on his eyelids, so like it always looks like he's watching. <laughs> They're oh tattooed God. right on there. Okay, Aurelio, you're awake. Sweet. Yeah, and um, you see fish jumping out Aww. of the water. Aww. Cute. Yep. Like big fish, small like, fish, like dolphin sized, actually, like nice. a little bit smaller, like seals, and they're like they're just jumping up out of the water, and you don't really know why. It doesn't look like they're chasing after anything, but maybe there's like small fish or like krill just beneath the surface that you can't see. That's yeah, uh, and then it becomes like nighttime, more nighttime. Um, do I do I see any like musical instruments in this train? On this train, uh, shipping. Like a banjo. You know, I'm gonna roll. A banjo. I'm gonna roll. I don't necessarily know why there would be, but I'll let the dice decide. Like a banjo. Uh, Next cracks open an eye. You play an instrument. You're dead to me. No, I'll play. <laughs> uh, you know what? You got like uh, yeah, yeah. You find an instrument. Yeah. What is it? The spoon. <laughs> the redo. The spoon. The spoons. Hold on. Let me figure this out. Uh, yeah, would you rather wake up hearing the spoons or a guitar? <laughs> it's a small, like, tiny, um, like, finger piano. A finger piano? Yeah, like, it's a bowl, of, it's a bowl <laughs> what? of what looks to be, like, wood, and then over it is, like, these thin tines of metal at different lengths. And you pluck it, and it makes, like, a small, like, tinny, like, sound, like, the, and they're spaced apart like piano keys, except they're for, like, being played with your thumbs. Aurelia does not know how to play the piano, but he takes it to play with just to pass the time. Okay. <laughs> it is getting late at night. You've been on shift for about two hours and 25 minutes. Wait. And then the lights start. No. No. Yep. Across the light? water, like hundreds of feet in every direction, you see what looks to be like an aurora, but like just beneath the surface of the water. It's like a light teal blue, and it just goes in these long flowing channels like somebody dropped this giant die in as it was spinning it with some kind of invisible spoon and it glows and swirls with the currents underneath the bridge and it, it shines up on your face and then you see Abram uh, his did face, Abram also his face see uh, illuminated with, with blue dancing beneath his chin <laughs> because it is his shift time and he has woken himself up um. Abram is standing <laughs> over. <laughs> Abram is standing uh, hey, wait, over. Before we get any farther, Leo, please yeah. roll a d uh, a sleight of hand check. Why am I stealing from someone? Um, My heart. No. Your heart. You know what? It, the, I was gonna say that this is because it's the most adequate representation of what I'm about to do, but you actually have to roll uh, performance. Oh, never mind. That was the wrong thing then, because I was rolling for the freaking. <laughs> yeah, I've, well, you have that's expertise on sleight of hand, and so that's why I was like, okay, it wouldn't technically be that. Yeah, roll performance. Okay. We're going to see if you can play the finger piano. Oh, if I learned? Uh, yeah, the, if you learned, if you I succeeded like... at all, let's see. Let's see. It depends on your role. No. No. You did not learn. You were just it was like really plucking. Bad. It wasn't bad. It was just like you don't know the keys, so you've just been plucking different notes. I've I, I rolled a nat one. Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, terrible. You're lucky. It shatters. You're, the only reason you didn't Broken. sneeze and drop it into the fucking ocean is because you have a plus three, so count your blessings. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm, I'm not a piano person. <laughs> Abram, you just, you've been hearing this, like, harsh <laughs> click like, every few minutes, and you finally just fucking give up and wake up and go over to where I really am. 
the first thing he does is take the piano. <laughs> no, I can learn. Time. <laughs> Tomorrow. Maybe. He points down to where they were sleeping. <laughs> Fine. Do, do you know what the lights were? He looks out over the ocean. Do I know what these lights are? Because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I would, but let me... We'll, we'll see. Where... I don't know. Wisdom. I just had to find it. Yeah, I don't know if there's like a nature skill check. Mm, there might be... Science, but I'd rather do... There's I'd rather multiple do... Multiple things you could argue for me to know about. Well, I'm thing. just going to do a wisdom because my intelligence is bad. That's fine. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm very tired. I don't want to talk about these lights. I look at the lights, and I look back at Aurelio. Okay. Like, they're lights. <laughs> can, can I roll intelligence? Sure. <laughs> what are you going to try and roll for? You have to explain it to me. You I can't just pick your highest fun. stat and then say that'll work. <laughs> what if... It, I'll let you do... If there's nature, I'll let you do nature. If there's survival, I'll let you do survival. If, it, if it's... Uh, no, I don't think it would be insight. I'll let you do nature, survival, or science, but not in, not insight. Um, I'll do survival. I mean, they're all like this, so I'll do survival. Well, that then go for it. Be... Roll it, baby. The way my rolls have been, <laughs> things aren't not, not equal. Ten. Uh, yeah, sure. You know what? That's that's fine. That's a moderate difficulty level. Uh, you can. They're they're probably. <laughs> Maybe, like, some kind of, like, bacteria or some kind of, like, algae that just floats along with the currents and bioluminesces. Oh, so cute. They, they bioluminesce my heart. Yeah, it, it just moves, and... It, I mean, you're just kind of looking at the water, and you're seeing that it moves in this, this large swarm of, of these creatures that are likely so small that you can't even really, like, see them from this distance above the water, but they're like in enough monkeys? density to, to glow and have this large effect on the ocean around them. Uh, there's I'll places where they're not there. There's places these. where the sea is dark, and they seem to like to float on the surface, which kind of indicates that they're they're probably a plant that photosynthesizes and wants to get as close to the the sunlight as it can. It's not deep sea creature. Okay. You don't know how deep the ocean is below you, like at all. Like you 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 see the map and it's marked the way it is because like it just kind of shows where there's a land bridge, but the ocean is not. It's much larger and deeper than the map would necessarily lead you to believe. The channel is not quite as as nicely linked as it could be. This this bridge that you're on goes for miles. That's terrifying. Yeah, it could snap at any moment, killing you all instantly. All right, Abram, Go you're on. up. I want to be asleep in the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. And then it's Abram's turn. It is my turn. He watches the algae creatures okay abram i'm not going to make you roll perception or stuff because that'd be kind of silly but you look at the algae creatures but on the water you actually see other lights as well and you realize mm -hmm. the reflections and you look up and you can actually see very faintly the well actually not not that faintly but you can you can actually see lots of of lights from what looks to be like may maybe some kind of very tiny like what appears to be a small satellite or something like that far up above it and it's just sitting perfectly in the sky off towards the north west the northwest back where you came from hovering above if you want to roll perception you can find out more about it but otherwise that's all you see it's just another yeah. beautiful light in the sky perception yeah and i'm just going to call this a, a 50 50 chance here Okay, you look at it, and you've got incredible sight, and maybe it's just your mind filling in the details, but it looks to be like a, a like a ring in the sky. Hmm. With various lights or, oriented around its outside, and it's just slowly and gently. You would not be able to tell this unless you were you, and you've got good perception, because <laughs> you're you, and you, you might actually even stare at it for a very long time to figure this out, but it's very slowly rotating. I do like staring at them for a very long time. No. The the algae has begun to die down just just a little bit. I'm disappointed. I'm sorry. Just just a tiny bit. It seems like they're most active like just after twilight. Okay. Um. the The night passes uneventfully for you mm -hmm. guys, and then it, then it becomes turn for for next. 
Okay. I wait for her to come up. I don't uh. know if she'll ever wake up on her own. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> really? Like, is that a thing? Before I continue? <laughs> just an in-character thing. No, I'm just going to say, most of the time I'm just going to say, the night passes uneventfully, or I roll. And well, I mean, is she, Nyx, are you really not coming up when you're supposed to? <laughs> She doesn't have a clock on her. Okay. Well, I woke up. I guess it's because I hate Leo. I'm <laughs> after a while. It was because he played the thing wrong. I'm okay. I'm disappointed that she did not wake up punctually and show up on time. So I'm I go down. <laughs> Kick her. No. <laughs> I go down. I find her cradling her bike tire. <laughs> I <laughs> I use my hand, not my foot, to like shake her shoulder. Uh, she. She wakes up with the start. <laughs> huh? What? Your turn. Oh. Yeah. Sure. She rubs her eyes and then she gets up. Okay. You take her place. It's warm. Hot bunk. <laughs> <laughs> the tire the tire is actually pretty pretty comfortable, oddly. Strange. <laughs> Alright. We got our last and final person, and uh, the dawn is actually coming. So for the first half, you've got like a full-on night night sky. The algae is still bioluminescing strong enough to notice, and you can feel it like radiating up into the sky. Uh, you see the stars out. There's not much clouds. Um, the way way off in the distance of the ocean to the north, you can you can kind of see some clouds, um, but no no other direction. Uh, you have the, the infinite line and lights of the space elevator to the south. Um, the satellite up in the sky to the west. Let's see here. Um, Nix. Uh, the ocean below is where it all ended up. Um, Nix avoids looking at the ocean as much as she possibly can. Uh, she doesn't like the ocean. Not one bit. Eventually. So she kind of... So she just kind of avoids looking at it. Eventually the light becomes pink on the on the horizons, on the western <laughs> side. And then uh, a light yellow and orange. And it becomes dawn. It reaches about 6 o'clock in the morning. You guys actually sleep in a little bit. And uh, by this time, by the end of Nix's shift, you're actually back onto the land. You've left the sea behind, and you're back into what looks to be like a deserted dune sea, but it quickly gives way to like normal packed dirt kind of desert. The, the ground is cracked, and cactus grow all around, and there's far more vegetation on this side of the ocean. Like, way more. You see creatures, birds, things flying in the sky and crawling along the land. Um... And you, uh, I'm just gonna keep on going. You guys get to the final leg of your journey. You see settlements, people dress relatively nicely, towering snow capped mountains far to the west. And you begin your final approach to Nupavo. You can, f you can more plainly see the space elevator at this point. It's huge, it's massive, and situated at like maybe like distances of kilometers from each other is these intermittent, like wide platforms, like built into it, like a station. And they have, like, even smaller elevators, like, linking up between them. Like, there's elevators within the elevators. Maybe there's even elevators within the elevators that are within the elevator. It's just so infinitesimal. Like, it gets... It's this a giant structure. And you are all... You're full on on grass. And it maybe is one of the first times in a long time that you've seen grass. Or maybe the first time you've seen grass in this quantity. There's... It's foliage everywhere. And eventually... What is grass? You reach the point where you see, like, farmland, like, tracks of crops that are being, like, manned, and there's water and aqueducts and, like, things transporting, and it's, like, it's lush for Sargasso. Uh, and then you get to the another bridge, but this one is, is huge. It's wide and it's girthy. You're pulling up on the city. You see towers going up off in the distance. This place is not a wide city or a long city, but it, it's built vertically. Very tall. You see small houses... Uh, you're on another bridge that is, once again, very long, but you can see the city beckoning you off in the distance, just over the horizon. And this one is, is not really a bridge at all, and I'm not going to make you roll insight, but it's... You can tell that on the right side, the, the water level is higher than the left side. You're on a dam. Mm. 
and you get down even farther to the south, and you are you're full on in the city. You see people around you. You're in like a rural district. The, the desert sands are still present, and you can see farmland though throughout, like wherever it seems to be needed, along this you guess a river at this point rather than the ocean. And uh, yeah, you you see factories, towers. You see the elevator in the dead center of it all, going off into the sky so high that you have it just disappears and. And uh, you see people walking along the tracks, along streets, along roads, and they're they're got they got packs, they've got mules, they've got like d little desert buggies or mopeds that don't look in the best shape. These people don't actually look very good. Uh, the conductor comes alongside you all. You're all awake, no breakfast, sorry. And he's once again counting the different things that are supposed to be in his cargo. And you get the sense that maybe you're approaching the destination. The people get more and more packed, more dense, and the train has begun to slow. You're pulling into the what looks to be a much more developed area. There's white buildings that are made out of like cement and steel. And there's glass, and uh, you far up ahead you see what looks to be like a normal station, but separating it from you is like a barrier, like a lot of walls and and fencing, barbed fencing even, and there's people that are. They've set up camp outside. They don't look great. They don't look starved or diseased or rioting, but they they don't all look great. And then the conductor speaks up and says, "Okay. Um, which one of you took the hand piano?" <laughs> oh, I was playing it last night, and I put it. I put it in. He holds his hand out to you expectantly. Yeah, I just, I, I give it to you. Okay. I wasn't, like, hiding it or anything. It he just plays a full-blown, like, melody on it. How do you do that? <laughs> My secret. <laughs> Can I persuade him to tell me his secret? I'm, your afraid, secret? I'm afraid you don't have time, because the train is slowing down to get into station and you're you're moving like maybe 10 miles an hour along this this stretch of people i was gonna trade his knowledge for that. uh he, he tells you like, no we're pulling into the station you gotta get ready to, to um you gotta, gotta get ready to go uh and you see the people and there be the people who have like set up camp basically they're they're slowly it's it's like some kind of um what are those points on the highway called there's like booths and people are like getting checked for toll like booth, passports and stuff like that. Yeah, toll booths. They said they're not paying. They're like getting papers checked. Border control? Yeah, it's basically like a border control almost. And you see people that are getting like turned away. And like it, it's really kind of strange that like you see these people who are very like downtrodden, like families getting turned away. But then you see people who are like pushing aside other people with like big trucks full of some form of boxes. And they're like let through without even anybody checking their paperwork. Mm -hmm. And you, yeah, you see like officials and stuff like that, and they're wearing what looks to be like gleaming white armor. Even there's there's people who look like very well off manning these booths, and they're just they're turning away some people. Some get through, but a lot of people aren't, and that's the source of the backup that you've been seeing. And everybody roll perception. <laughs> You're traveling very slowly on this train as you pull alongside. But you uh, uh, immediately we have somebody who gets the impression that they're not just going to check these people coming in. They're also probably going to check the train to make sure everything is on the manifesto. And uh, the, the conductor even says, uh, listen, we're not really supposed to be transporting people on this train. If you could do me a favor and either get off here, uh, that, that would be preferred or be really good at hiding. Uh, Abram, is that your perception check? 18? Yeah. Okay. On in one of the in the closest booth to the train, um, you guys are passing by the the people booth is different than the train booth. The, the train checker is somewhere up ahead, but in the people booth, you see like a TV screen, and you see three faces. <laughs> Great. And they're of of yourself, Nix, and Aurelio. Mm-hmm. And it, this is like I'm in, I'm in I'm it's incredible that you saw this. This was like in in the office of one of the booths, like a hundred feet away. Eagle eye. 
Eagle Eye. <laughs> uh, Abram. It's a pretty big he, banner. He's, eye. Big TV. Yeah, he's okay. He's standing up with like his bag, but he looks to the others and he's like, "Needless to say, if they find us here, we're not going to be the only ones in trouble." And he's referring to the conductor. The conductor is. So. I I don't know what that means, but okay. Please don't get me fired. I'm not talking to you. Well, all right. <laughs> okay. Are you suggesting we should get off here then? Or, as he said, hide. Whichever is best for you. He looks like he's going to leave. Like, just jump off the fucking train. <laughs> if we jump off, aren't they going to see us, though? We're well, not there yet. That is a possibility, yet. but you're are not we? there yet. How, cl- how far are we from the border? Uh, the bo- It's like, the border? is a long like uh oof. you're not at the border yet i guess it's like a few hundred feet away but the there there's like people to your right there's like line after line of people checking it seems like there's multiple tiers of like ch- of patrol people who are like first they check this That's... paper and then you walk another few hundred feet and then they check another paper at another booth so like maybe there's there's two more two more like lay- rows of booths and also the actual train station like up ahead be just beyond it it looks like the train station is like Maybe even, like, where they house some of the patrol, like, guarding people. And there's, like, a wall as well, keeping people from just walking to the west into the city. It's like they're being funneled alongside the dam and alongside the railway that you guys are now traveling along. You're, like, right here. You're, like, just in the grassland. You just got off the dam. And you're, you're seeing that this there's, like, a wall built around the city. I feel like we have a better chance hiding here than if we want to get into the city. Says you. Some of us aren't as stealthy. <laughs> uh, is there another way into the city? I suppose, but even if you're not as stealthy, it's gonna all those people there. Um, you can try to roll insight, and I'll try to give you like possibilities. But I mean, the way you guys get into the city is gonna end up being depending on your characters. But Abram, if you want to roll another insight check, I can see if there's like a uh, information that I could give you that might mm. perhaps reveal something that of value. Okay, Maybe. this is gonna be up to the dice because not my insightful. Is not good. No, I mean, it's alright. Uh, okay, worse. well, um, the train is coming. You you got the two options of jumping off the train and mingling with the crowd and just trying to, like, get your way through the crowd that way. You got the staying on the train and hiding thing, um, which is something that I'm not just gonna... If you... Tell me how you hide, and then I'll give you an advantage based around how well you've actually hidden your character, but you still have to roll stealth. No matter what, that's probably gonna how, how it's gonna go down. If you, if you make up the ultimate way to hide, and I'm like, fuck, that's cool, then you're probably gonna get advantage. <laughs> Um, but you also remember that there was those, the, every now and then, like, trucks would go into the city that weren't getting checked by people. Um. That's what you get for a 12. Okay. You, you beat the 10, which is the generic test for most parts. Okay, then I point out, I guess, the possibility of, I don't know, jumping on one of those trucks, or somehow stealing a truck (laughs) and driving it in. Let's steal a truck. <laughs> oh, God. we'd have to we'd have, take, we'd have to take out the driver. Do they have like stealing. open backs or something? Like what the, kind of? Truck yeah, they're right? like big open. Uh, the backs are there's some that are tarped, and then there are some that are just open with like a bunch of boxes loaded up. But they all the cabs are like covered cabs. They're like tractor trailers. They're like twelve wheelers. Like that kind of truck. They're like pretty big. Except they're some are some are a little bit smaller, but they're all roughly the kind of same thing. Um, also, pursuing this also means that you have to get off the train and give up that potential hidey place. So that's the. I'm point. okay with stealing a truck. What is your stealth? Me? Next. Yeah. <laughs> Concerned. I mean, it's equal to your dexterity modifier. I'm pretty sure. Zero. So even if you're. I don't not... have. I'm. I don't have anything. It's just and zero. Oh. oh, you have a but zero. Considering on that I have very bad luck with rolls. Can me? we that's help true. cover her? Um, I don't think so, because I think that's actually a skill that an outlaw can potentially get, is they can use their stealth to benefit other people. So, like, yeah, you can, but that's, that's not... Uh, no. Can I check to see if I technically have that skill at this level? I mean, yeah, what about your PAF? It's a, it's up to you to check to see if you've got that. I think I don't I don't know if that's a gunslinger skill. I think that was one of the other weird ones. And I think it's oh, like I mean, it might just be a regular outlaw skill. It might be. If you want to check it and it turns out I'll yes. Check it real quick. I don't think it is, though. Okay, so you guys want to steal a fucking truck. 
uh, maybe, uh, Abram doesn't think taking it's a good idea. He thinks maybe just getting on one and hiding and then jumping off again when they're inside. That that's maybe. another possibility. Okay. In fact, that might that may be easier because you don't have to fight anyone doing that. Exactly. <laughs> we could also bribe. You got money. I mean, I'm I'm a pretty good sweet talker. Oh my god, Abram is leaving you crazy. <laughs> I have a pretty good reputation. Well, you're, it, uh, uh, Abram has pointed out that you have a wanted poster. Yeah, mm. and it's they, know, they know us. So <laughs> unless true. you happen to get somebody who hasn't had that circulated to them yet, or like you figure out a way to really like sweet talk them or, or do something that would make that a I'm currently issue. in disguise, so... Uh... Okay, changing your hair color oh. is not a disguise, Nyx. Hair color <laughs> part, and you can't see my whole arm. I'll so. give it to you, like from a distance. <laughs> but if you're at a pl if you're at a booth specifically designed to check who you are, I don't think that it is going to, to suffice, unfortunately. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I but tried. Don't worry. You're you're getting a benefit from like a dis from from certain situations. I don't want you to think that I'm not listening to your character choices. But this is not going to fly. Fine. Especially with that facial recognition shit. Yeah. For all you know, they could like We're... straight up scan your face. Yeah. Okay. Well, why? While... I, mean, I feel like our yeah, yeah. best option is probably the train because while you don't have a, like a plus modifier, Nick, you don't have a negative. One. I'm also if really. Get out, I'm also really. I'm also rolling very poorly today. So. But if uh... we get out of the train, you'll be rolling very poorly in sight of everybody. How long? I don't know if the DM will answer me this, but how long? of a walk will it be to get to a truck that is passing by and jump in? It's like 30 fucking feet. There's like a road that's moving. That, that okay, the are moving. there like official people on this road? No, well, like there's one or two, but it seems like they're there just, they look like they're dressed in like what looks to be like riot gear to like just keep people from okay. like storming the patrol booth. They're not like checking IDs. They're just like there. Yeah, okay. so all we have to do is avoid them because they probably have seen wanted posters recently. There's a very and jump short in the back fence. of a truck. Separating you from the part. <laughs> yeah, it's like. <laughs> well, I'm we'll, behind her. her. I'll put the, the, the crystals skin. or whatever in my pocket, and I'll put the basket on Abram's head. <laughs> I, <laughs> Perfect. Okay, I am gonna say that we have to. You guys gotta make a decision because, like, the. I want to go coming. and go in the truck. I'm yeah, waiting for the truck. Truck. And you got you guys got truck. I, okay, it seems like you're. I put my page. cloak on, by the way. Like, I put my hood up. Sure, you put your hood up. You guys, I, you guys, jump uh, off the train. I have a basket yep. on my okay. head. <laughs> yes, um, he has a basket on his head. Unless you guys make stealth checks, the, the there's. I normal, am making a stealth check. Normal people like notice that you just jumped off the train. I no, mean, no, no, they don't. Have. Do, no. Should we care? Aurelio, technically, that's up technically, to you guys. there shouldn't be an issue for us jumping off the train. I don't want to make you guys suspicious of everything. I was just saying that like people do notice that these three ruffians like jump off the train. They they just assume you're hobos and that you just like took exactly. The train. I don't mm -hmm. think I don't think these regular people will give a shit. Yeah. They I'm don't notice me at all. <laughs> you guys, I'm just worried about the officers. You guys were fortunate in that you figured out what you wanted to do before I got from <laughs> before I got frustrated and said that you were in front of the part of it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you get off. Some people notice. They turn their eyes. They don't notice Aurelio because, like, he hides behind Abram. <laughs> Damn it! Very you, small. You jump small. over the fence, and then you guys are in a in just a throng of people in dressed all in different clothing. People have hats that have wide brims. They're different, carrying baskets <laughs> on their heads. It seems like some people have even like set up shops along the roads with like little tents and stuff like that. Like it seems like people like this is a permanent fixture almost. Like this idea that there's people outside the city walls at all times. I want to go. <laughs> um, not right now, uh, really. <laughs> and then uh, every every like forty, every like couple of minutes, um, you see like a different truck that goes by. Uh, but you you can kind of, um, I think I should probably like make some of you guys roll roll insight or like perception. But oh no, you guys got per passive perception. Everybody except for Aurelio can sell can hey. kind of see that like uh, well, a Abram has got like fucking like fourteen or like fifteen, so like he's. Abram first, and then Nix maybe. Oh my god, I totally forgot about the motorcycle. Nix, if you wanted to say that you just ro you rode that bad boy right off the train, then I will totally... Oh my like, god, not that's How incredible. am I going to sneak it into the goddamn city? You ride it up the fence. You can. Yes. You don't have to worry about getting well, it off the train. It's got some great suspension. I'm, I just forgot that it was there. Like, I just completely can forgot. I, the, trans I, the train is going into the city anyway. Technically, you can get it in. 
Oh yeah, yeah. You, could, you could try to get it back later, uh, or you could take it off the train now and just like, hey, you guys are going to steal a fucking truck, right? So I mean, like, you might be able to put it in the back of that. I didn't know we were going to steal it. <laughs> I don't, I still don't know exactly what you're doing. I'm, I'm, I think we're just going to jump on the back of it, we're not going to find anyone, we're going to ride it into the city, and then we're going to jump we'll, on that. We'll all ride the motorcycle into the back of the truck, <laughs> and then pop out in Perfect. the city. Yeah, Perfect. Don't, all right, Nix, I'm afraid your motorcycle is, is gone for now. Okay, I have you a quick a uh, DM, like, game mechanic yeah. question. If we're all on the motorcycle. Okay. And only I roll stealth. I'm already. Does it count for stealth. everyone on the motorcycle? Because we're all in the same place. No, Jesus. because you there's you don't what you can't do that to begin with. So why would I let you do it on <laughs> what? a motorcycle? But, <laughs> but what if we Gosh. all roll, and if all of us roll high enough, the motorcycle becomes the silent. Do we have to Are roll you, for what? the motorcycle? The the motorcycle like makes this impossible to begin with. Unless you can tell me how you're disguising a motorcycle or how you're. I put the basket over the muffler. <laughs> I don't really I know what you. you're trying to accomplish here. I don't know if the motorcycle's gone. It's you dead. Can, if it was okay. like, oh, I roll it into the back of the truck and throw a tarp over it, then like, yes, I would just. Use no, I know how we do that. One know how we do it is like we start the motorcycle and then the 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 gas comes out in the back and like smoke, right? So I take the basket and I put it like over the smoke until the smoke just starts curling around the motorcycle okay. and we have our own little so, smoke screen. You know, whether you have the motorcycle or not, it still sounds like you're going with this truck plan so how about we do yeah. that and then we'll retroactively decide whether or not you you took the, the motorcycle with you because I, I really don't mind saying that you just like revved it up and rode it off the side of the thing and, and now you and then you rode it into the into the throng of people killing 20 people instantly no just like slowly push up next through. there's other vehicles like she's a better driver than that you actually see a few people who are riding those like mono bike wheels as well oh sweet yeah but they don't look like the same people it's just like the same kind of like vehicle <laughs> Okay, but uh, yeah, the, there's trucks that are coming, and it seems like as the the trucks like part this ocean of people, and as soon as the trucker vehicle goes by, they the people just like crash in like water, like filling the space, mm -hmm. and then like another truck okay. comes, and then like it slowly like goes five miles an hour as it parts through the people, and there's all these tents on left and right, and people dressed up in crazy things. There's lots of noise and yelling. I'm gonna check the jukebox and see if I can like find sounds of people. So people could, yelling of like cities or something like that. <laughs> So we could feasibly get onto this truck without anybody really, like... Yeah, you gotta, like, tell me how I you do so. it and, like, roll stealth. If you've got, like, a really good plan, then I'll give you advantage, but otherwise it's just gonna be, like, a stealth roll? I just um... wanna fucking get in the truck. Okay. Just let me watch. Well, then a truck is coming by, and it's got a big tarp over the back. It's, like, a covered wagon with, like, a, a, with, like, a truck cab in the front, and it appears to have only one person driving. Mm -hmm. And it's a young man with a jaunty yellow cap. Okay, I can kill him easily if I need to. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh. No. That's what we're going now. And you, you might want to tell me what you guys are doing as well. Like how I'm you getting look. on the goddamn truck. All right. Like, when it's going by, mm -hmm. I'm gonna... Yeah, I know, I, I'm getting in the truck. I grab one of the, like, frame bars, I guess, that's holding up the tarp. And just kind of, like, swing myself up and, like... I would say up and in, but I don't know if I have to step over something after I get up, but okay, so regardless, I try to back. slip in very quickly, yes. Okay, yeah, you, what does everybody roll? I don't have any... I got an 11. 13. I got I, that 20 I, plus 5. I parked four off, like, Holy a rock. Shit. And, like, off a rock, you backflip. Roll, roll, no, I definitely don't backflip with an 11. Okay. I, like, roll <laughs> into the back, kind of ungracefully, but, like... You know, I just kind of roll in. Yeah, like you're a, like all, a barrel you roll. You all do it. There's a throng of people. It's going very slowly. The guy's more concerned with making sure he doesn't hit anybody than like checking his mirrors to see who jumps in the back. And uh, the back, mm -hmm. the back is open, but it's a covered truck. It's just got like a thin like pull up pickup truck kind of like back to it. Um, mm -hmm. And you, you guys all jump in and you roll in and you're immediately covered in shade and you just see a, a whole bunch of boxes all stacked on top of each other a lot they're all covered every single one of them is like covered with a tarp like you, the, nothing is just open to you and you guys are just in this this tiny labyrinthian maze of boxes tarps and barrels Nyx smells uh, really funny oh good <laughs> Nyx sits um like she goes far into the back of the truck and um she just kind of sits can't believe I'm wanted in my own city. You live here? Yep. <laughs> okay. 
okay. Holy stars. <laughs> I'm, you guys are going to, um, you hear a stop, like a, the brakes come on gently. The, everything kind of lurches forward. Uh, some of the tarps like come uncovered. Anybody want to roll perception? Yeah. I think you mean everyone. Yeah, right. everyone's going to roll perception. <laughs> I want to know. It's fine. We'll, we'll see how it goes. It's not going to be easy. This is kind of beneficial information. <laughs> I, I don't. Okay. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. All right, then. Nix and Abram? Abram, is it the most recent roll of yours? 18? 18, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, you you look inside, and you see, like, um, like some kind of... In, like, some, like, uh, you see, like, fluid in bags, plastic bags, but it's not blood. And Nyx, uh, you're the one who got above a 20. That was the, the, the real cutoff. Everybody could tell that it was just bags full of, like, fluid, but, uh, this is drugs. This is a hardcore, like, opiate. Except not really, because we're in space. Hmm. But uh, yeah, you're you're you're. This is a truck full of pack and smack. It's it's just hanging out there, at least in this one box. Who knows what's in the other boxes? Hey, Nick, do you share this information with us? Yeah, I was gonna say, dude. You tell uh, us. she's gonna keep quiet while they're stopped because they're probably checking papers yeah. and stuff. This is the only Nick's by. This is one of the few times that like yes, Nix is the only one who realized this. This is one of the few times that there was like two tiers of discovery and like fifteen to see it, twenty to know that that you are. You're in a truck full of smack. I don't even know I'm in a truck. You don't even know you're in a truck. <laughs> God knows what's in the other crates, uh, but the truck is, is gently slowing down. There's actually a there's a slit in the front of the truck where it seems like the cab would connect to the back. It's like thin enough to like just see through. It's got like a metal like slat that presumably the driver would undo so he can check the back. Mm-hmm. You hear the truck come to a stop. You look out the back, and there's just still the sea of people, and there's the sounds of voices, and you hear people walking around the back of the truck. Yep, I'm gonna hide. <laughs> I, I hide. <laughs> okay. I'm deep within the back of the okay. truck. All right. Uh, <laughs> you, there's a man who is wearing like a a white like queer ass over his chest, and it comes with like similarly white styled like shoulder pads, but the rest of his clothing is just like normal. Uh, and he's got like a hat on that's red with a with a white strip on the top. It's like a beret. Uh, and he quickly flashes like a flashlight into the back of it. Like he just like looks left, looks right. All right, it's good. And he waves, and then he he walks away from the back. And then um, you guys see that the the truck begins to move again. And it, you pull through the patrol station. You see the patrol station that it, it's shaped just like the the uh the stations that i keep forgetting the god the toll booths except it's all like dirt on Border the ground patrol. as opposed to like paved nothing's paved you're still like in dirty dirty land uh except for the grasses that you see around and you yeah you pull in and you see the border patrol going behind you but you're not picking up speed and it's because you have one more thing that you're gonna have to pull through as well great yeah and uh this time you you hear the the truck come to a stop as you come up to the final patrol station and this time, you see somebody who's who's doing some stuff, and you hear some more voices, and it's the driver talking with someone, and then you hear some there's there's someone coming up behind the truck. And Do I have to roll stealth again? Uh, you you hear him, and he's you hear him get into the back of the truck, and his <laughs> he's, he's like. I don't. You're all trying to hide, right? So like, I don't think you guys can yeah. see. Yeah. Um, we can hear him. <laughs> you, you hear him, and uh, who's hiding where? Who's hiding closest to the dr- the cab side? Uh, Nix is as Nix, far in I the think. back of the truck yeah. as possible. She probably squeezed herself all between right. like two boxes. Who, who's closest to the front, the out, the back of the truck then? Me. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Abram, you see this, I don't know. You see a Probably thin, both. Yeah, pale, sickly man who's who's wearing like oh. the hat, the same like the, border, the the patrol hat, but he's not wearing any armor on him or anything like that. And he's like sickly and white, and he just he creeps past you and he doesn't even see you because like his back is now to you. He just walks by you like not even knowing you're there. 
Mm -hmm. uh, and you you see him like check one box, and then he walks forward again, and I guess he passes Aurelio, who's on the <laughs> other side. Hey, bye. Uh, and then he stops just in front of the box that Nix is hiding behind, and you see him reach in and take out one of the packages, the, bye, the everybody. packages of the of no. the coke of the of the of He's the here for the trucks. He <laughs> takes one of the packets of drugs. Of like the liquid, it's like a brownish black liquid, Ugh. and you see him take it out, and he is he's he's like putting it down his pants. Uh, I did not take drugs out there. Well, like it's a sealed package. He's like hiding it, concealing it around his wiener, which is where you should keep all your valuables. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you guys are all just I'm just, you're hiding behind crates. Yeah. And uh, so. When he turns around, he's going to see Aurelio and Abram hiding behind crates. No, because no. Uh -uh. he goes behind us. <laughs> I move to, to go around the front. You really... It's like you know, yeah. you know those like games yeah. where like I do know like, exactly what you're like. Solid Snake. Where, I like, understand as soon as what he you're starts doing. Moving, I, I start understand. going around the box. What I'm know? saying is that you have to roll stealth because you're right. Yeah. He walks by That's both funny. of you, but you have to, now you're you're running around the other side of the box. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's hit in the back. Okay, yeah, he turns around and there's nobody there. <laughs> Thank God, that was horrifying. And you, you hear him like, oh, as he wipes his brow, and he 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 creeps back slowly. I do the same. Past thing. everything, and you're just he he walks right by you guys again, and he's he's pale and small and frail and sickly, and he's got a hat and he looks all sweaty, and then he he just slowly creeps out the back of the truck, and and disappears out of sight and then the truck and then the truck lurches forward and pulls away from the final final station and then everything mm. goes black presumably because you're entering some kind of tunnel oh i thought we died and you see flashes <laughs> overhead flashes like around as you as you pass underneath these headlights and the truck picks up speed faster and faster until you think you're going like maybe 30 30 miles per hour for international listeners which i'm sure there's there's thousands of um, hmm. there's one and there's there's 40 miles per hour maybe like 50 miles per hour and you don't think that this is a highway but you think this man is probably speeding and <laughs> there's some turns around some city blocks around some big big white and steel buildings and there's a few more turns and a few more turns and you have no idea where you are but you're definitely in the city you see the the wall slowly disappearing between buildings and now you're seeing people on the streets. They're dressed pretty nicely, averagely. Similar way mm. to, like, say, Abram or Nix would be, not Aurelio. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's not a dig against Aurelio, but he's, like, dressed yes, up for, like, desert stuff, and this is definitely not that situation. You see, like, the buildings are, are connected with, like, sky bridges that are, like, sealed. Um, and you see a lot of, like, buildings and, and structures that are, like, sealed with like, and, and windows, and it might have something to do with the heat. Who knows? Uh, but you're just on, on streets, and you see lots and lots of people, and street performers, and, and people dancing, and people just walking to work, and business people, and, and workers, and people wearing steel hats as they do construction jobs. And the truck eventually pulls to a stop, and then you see cars, uh, like, behind you, and it seems like you might be at a stoplight in a inter intersection. <laughs> I was going to request that I jump off at some point when it is moving, like by a crowd or something. I'm okay. not going to jump off in an intersection. That's fine. Okay, I'm just making that known. I'm not going to stay on it until it like stops somewhere. Yeah, that's, same that's here. Good. You're at an intersection. Yeah, I, I just follow. When, it goes, follow. when it goes again, uh, you you're just driving down the side of the road. There appears to be a lot of people just like on on the side. They don't. It doesn't look like the greatest part of town. Uh, do you want to jump out here, or do you want to just like hang on tight and see where you go? Wait, do I know this area? Uh, yeah, kind. Yeah, honestly, okay. Familiar. Abram's gonna be like, Nix, if you know where we are, maybe you should lead us. You know what, Nix? You you look up in the sky and you see the a giant, huge, massive like ivory blades spinning off in the distance of of a wind, okay. of like a, a wind farm. And that looks familiar to you. Uh, oh, good. We're not far from my place. All right. So I'm on... So she... You said you're in the farthest back of the, tr of the trunk. All right. 
Uh, Alright, so she is going to try and get up closer to Aurelio and Abram. Mm -hmm. And she says, alright, so we're not too far from my place. Um, Just a little ways further and we'll be a bit closer, but if you wanted to jump off here, then we can. Do you know where the train station is? So we can get your bike? (laughs) GM. (laughs) <laughs> uh yeah, I mean you know where it is, but it's it's still like nearby patrol people, so it's gonna be risky uh, to try and get it again. Uh, At least right well, now. Never mind. Who knows? Maybe it'll die down and they won't be looking for you, and you could just right. like slip right on in. Right. It, it, yeah, because well, you don't. It's not important right now. You don't see like people patrolling the streets like looking for you guys. Right. It was just like maybe the patrol station had. Yeah. Like, your well, faces. The, the, the train station might be a little different. <laughs> the train station is going to be like an intermediate level of the inner city versus the the patrol. It's not going to be as difficult as getting in would be. All right. But well, up to next. Then if we go in, if we're gonna get her bike or just hoof it to the wind farm. The truck is still moving, by the way. I'm, I'm not afraid <laughs> to say that you guys get wherever the truck is going. All mm-hmm. right. Um. Yeah, let's get off here. My bike can wait another day. All right. Very well. Okay. okay. We're jumping. Y'all jump out. Roll acrobatics. It's oh moving, yeah. It's a moving truck, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go easy on you. I die. All right. <laughs> I die too. <laughs> you we both, break our ankles. You both like I'm fall alive. and like. <laughs> Get, and your, your feet just like pull out from under you and you both fall like flat on your ass or on your shoulder but Ow. You're, yeah you're fine <laughs> but you are like in the middle of the road and like a car well, like swerves around you quickly no. and then gets back on the road there's like beeping <laughs> Aurelio like what? pulls you both up and you run to the sidewalk and yeah, now you're just do. at the sidewalk a few people give you like really weird looks but like <laughs> nobody questions you or like tries to arrest you or anything and you're just in the middle of the street uh, and it ju- it just says Fourth Street. Okay, um, well, I stay close to Nick since she knows where the fuck we're going. Nick, roll uh, for DM. Roll, roll something. I don't know what this would be. Insight. Survival. Survival. Survival, survival of the fittest. There's something uh, that you can inc- roll here. Insight. Insight sure. would be good. Yeah, the one that you have perception in. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you are Yay! right. You are right here. All right. Um, and you live right here. Oh. <laughs> We're not too far. Not bad. All you're, right. You're a few blocks away. You're like maybe 12 blocks, which city blocks, by the way. So you, you got some yeah. walking, but you know where you are. We got a few blocks, uh, and she points in the direction of her, of East. her abode. She's like this way. Okay. And she starts walking. You guys pass all kinds of people, but this is like the most densely packed area you've ever been so far in the campaign. <laughs> Uh, and through every now and then you can kind of glimpse through the the tall towers that are around you the skyscrapers and you you can see like a waterfront and you can also see on the other side of the water uh, a barrier that just separates the water from the 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 bottom part of the the orbital elevator the space elevator and it's it's mm-hmm. huge it's massive it's mo- it's it's gigantic and it's just in width and it just goes up forever as far as you are concerned. And mm-hmm. it seems to just be in the dead center of the city. And uh, you guys roll. Um, you guys roll nothing. I roll for you. And it, it takes you about an hour. But you do eventually come to a small, shallow street. Kind of dim. And it's just full of like weird shops. Like there's a tattoo parlor. There's a bar. Uh, there's a few other places that are just like eclectic salesman positions. And then you stop outside of a short squat, like two-story building. It's it's very it's like being squeezed between two taller buildings. And uh, it it's just where Nix has stopped you. It has a glass Welcome front home. storefront, and has a second story. And it looks like there's like newspapers or like something is blocking all the light from getting into the the top story. Mm-hmm. Um. Nyx fumbles into her small bag and uh, gets out her key, and she unlocks the door. Okay. And she opens the door for the two. It hesitates before going in. Uh, Aurelio just kind of walks in. (laughs) 
Earth. Uh, DM, do you want me to describe it, or...? Um, I, I'll try to guess. Sorry, I just kind of, like, okay. left you hanging there for a second. But uh, you see, it's a very small, like, shop front. It's kind of a similar size to uh, the, your witch friend, who's not really a witch. But lots mm. of weird, strange, foreign instruments, like, decorate the walls. And there's straight up a severed arm. A leg. Oh, that uh, I... Mm, uh, no. Just hanging on the wall, like, some kind of horrifying trophy. <laughs> Yeah. Um, you, you see some other pieces. Not what we I claw at the door. There's, there's. Um, it's locked. It's, it's a robotic no. arm. You, you can tell that it's like a prosthetic form of like yeah. instructional material. This is not what we discussed. Uh, there's, there's dead kittens hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> no. I leave. I leave. I claw at the door. I'm no, I it's, it's a storefront. This. And what, what do we see next? Tell us what we see. All right. So. The main part of the building is a what looks to be like a waiting room. It's got a couple of chairs, um, a coffee table with some magazines on it. Probably very outdated. <laughs> I need to fix that. Um, there's a counter. No one's behind it since it's <coughs> too early. Bless you. And um, there are, there's a small hallway with three doors. Wait, four. Uh, two of them are labeled exam room one and two. One of them says storage, and the other one, uh, says, uh, employees only. And it's just a small, there's a couple of, uh, certificates on the wall. Mostly, um, just official documents. Health inspector. Standard. Mm. And behind the counter is a, uh, permit. Yeah. All right. And, yeah, just a bunch of incidentals of a storefront. Welcome home, Nex. Yay! Do you Aww. like? What do you do? Do you like flip on the TV or anything? Like, what's going on here? Uh, she goes over to the employees-only door and opens it, and it's a staircase. And she motions the two to follow her. My actual apartment is a floor up. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna resume my DMing uh, role. Thank you, Nix. Guest appearance. Um, it's just a very <laughs> simple studio apartment, and there's like some desks and things like that with various works on them. It's it's just small one one big room essentially with like a pull out like sofa. Mm -hmm. Most of your your basic incidentals for a one person living environment. With further more tools, it seems like her work has spilled from her her storefront up into her room. Uh, make yourselves at home. Uh, There's a if blinking... you touch any of my tools, I will kill you. Oh. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you guys can do whatever you want, but it, there's a blinking light on a small device by the blender. <sighs> Nyx goes Everyone over to the device <laughs> and presses the button. Hey, um, Nix, it's, uh, it's, it's Zilch. I, I was at the station the other day, and I, I saw some weird posters, and uh, I was just kind of wondering if maybe you could call me back at some point and um, maybe maybe talk about that with me. Um, and I, I yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Have, see ya. And then it, they hang out. Fuck. Friend of yours? I could say that. Um... She grabs the phone and um she You said that it was okay for her bedroom to be like a separate room, right? Yeah, that's fine. Alright. She takes the phone and she's like, I need to take this. Uh food in the fridge to help yourselves. I gotta go. And she goes into her room to to call. I immediately start going through her things. Oh okay. my god. <laughs> I go to her fridge, take all, all right. of <laughs> Can I, Can I? May I take over for a little bit? Um, this take... is her apartment. What? Oh yeah, like describing it? Sure. Yeah. Um, you don't see anything super extravagant. Like, there's a desk that is full of just papers, documents, uh, sketches for what looks to be arms, legs, other ligaments. Cybernetic mm -hmm. eyes. Um, there's a picture 
There's a picture frame containing a little girl and a grown man smiling, waving at the camera. Um, she doesn't have many things, many knickknacks. Um, there's a small TV, but other than that, she's got bare bones minimum. So there's nothing like secret or like about her fucking arm. <laughs> No. Where it came from. Okay. <laughs> wow. No. no it was straight no. to the point. Uh -huh. Straight to the point. Huh? <laughs> but yeah, if there's nothing, then I give up looking after a while and sit back down. What Mostly the blueprints. <laughs> so we done foods. Uh, I, do you you see like a spoiled carton of milk because Nix has been gone like for several days or weeks potentially. Bread, crackers, some kind of like frozen concoctions. Yeah, I take the crackers and I put it on the bread and then I eat it. Oh my god. You're an Chris animal, Sandwich. Aurelia. You're a goddamn animal. Okay. I'm hungry! It's just it's just you and Abram. Do you guys do anything while Nyx is gone? I just eat the sandwich. Yeah, I'm, I, that, was what I, that was what I was doing and I didn't find what I wanted, so I'm done. So All it's right. my turn. Okay. Uh, Nyx, are you planning on calling that person right now or are you going to do that later? Yeah, I'll call him now. Why right. not? Well then, I guess we'll do that. Do you you call you call this man? All right. Um, I dial his number, call him up. Beep beep beep. Boop. 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 You have train, but you don't have ringtone. Hello. <laughs> Zilch. Yeah. Oh, next. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Did you get my message? Yeah, I did. I just got home. Uh. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, so, remember that assignment that I went on to get supplies? No. I swear to god I told you. Okay. Did you forget again? Probably. Or did your girlfriend not tell you where I was going? M maybe that was it. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh... Yeah, I went on a uh, scavenge just to get some parts for this project that I'm working on. Yeah, all right. Well, let me then cut straight to the point. It, why is there a wanted poster of you at the at the office? At the, at the I mail? may or may not have run into a lunar lunaris centaur thing. <sighs> I thought you said you weren't going to be dealing with them in the future. I said I wasn't going to. I didn't expect them to be there. Okay, okay, fine. That's that's fine. It wasn't that big a bounty, I guess. I was just a little concerned. What happened, exactly? Um... I'll explain details when I meet you in person at some point, but short... long story short, I went scavenging. I guess I went somewhere I wasn't supposed to, and, um... the... and Lunaris tried to grab me. Mm. For trespassing. S standard scavenging. Alright, fine. Well, just take it easy, alright? I'll talk to you later. Alright, is there anything that you can do for me now? I also have two... acquaintances? Uh -huh. With me? Okay. They're, they're currently staying with me. Um, That's weird. Weird? Are you sure that they're not just, like, you know, gonna kill you? Or, like, try to turn you in for the bounty on your head that they may or may not know about? They're they're also on the bounty. Oh, really? The pink-haired guy? Yep. You could do better. <laughs> I'm not with them. All right. Well, okay. Just treat yourself right and don't don't get fucking fucked. All right. Don't be a stranger. All right. I won't. Oh, right. um. Uh, the yeah, the the uh, Nada Nada said hi. Oh, tell him I said hi. I will. See ya. Bye. Click. And she hangs up and goes back out. Aurelio and Abram roll perception. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm free. Perception. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Okay, here we go. Ta da! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
This game is hard. Aurelio, you <laughs> fall forward. You you both like prick up as you hear her voice talking to someone, and Aurelio like gets kind of excited. About I can't it. hear over my crunching. You can't hear over your own crunching, and you, and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna just completely like bury my face in in this couch. Like, <laughs> Cracker I sandwich. I don't know how you failed, but you did. Abram, you <laughs> overhear parts of it. I don't think uh, she was being particularly like try to be super stealthy. How private was the conversation next? Eh. Yeah, I don't think it was super private, so I, I don't. Nah, see... it was about. If I had to guess, the threshold would be ten. That's and above a ten. Arbitrary number, but okay. Yes, you you hear like uh, that she was talking to a friend about saying hello. Um. Uh... Yeah. Do I, did I hear this, basically, did, could I gather that she told him that we're all, that we're all wanted, basically, and that we're here? Um, okay, now it's going to be a test of, uh, it's a roll stealth, Nyx, if, unless you're, if you're trying to be private and stealthy, then we're going to roll stealth, and it's not just a case. It of wasn't you. exactly private, it was just, she wanted to say hi. Okay, well then, you, yeah, you, then I'm going to say Abram heard everything that you said. I heard the, sure. the voice recording, right? Yeah, you all, you all heard their voice recording, but whether or not you heard the conversation is up to whether. Is that your boyfriend? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> um. <laughs> no. Good. She's got a dumb name. Hard. <laughs> Fucking zilch. Hey. He saved my ass. So. Yeah. Well, we better hope that he's not going to turn our asses in now that he knows we're all here. Trust me, he won't. He's family. Abram does not look convinced, but lets it go. Um, he ain't a snitch. <laughs> exactly. She goes over the counter and looks at the mess Aurelio made. I make a mess. I uh, that's impossible. Oh my god. You, <laughs> like, you have there a one a on perception. Call. You have like a remote control to your TV, and it, it's just like covered in his greasy, sweaty palms, and there's. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lie. He's you lying. Have, you got a two on perception, and you spilled your milk, and that's how you got you didn't. When this man eats, he leaves no trace. Okay, <laughs> there's nothing left. You're right. I forgot. He's like a fucking vacuum cleaner. Oh my God. He slurps that yeah. shit up. She I slurped crumbs. She goes on the couch and she um, plops down, resting her feet on the coffee table. So now what? You're in my house. Didn't you want to see this orb? Crack it open. Right. <laughs> so, um, she leads the two back downstairs into exam room number two, where she has, like, a bunch of tools. Oh, my, I get, there's, there's one room for examining. There's just the thought, one room. You don't have multiple you, rooms like a dog. I thought no, you said no, I you could have, have two. You have a waiting room? Yeah, well, two rooms as in, like, the front room and the back room. <sighs> we talked about this. Uh, oh my, you know what? You said it was okay. Yes, it is okay. I rolled for okay. it. You have two exam rooms and a, and a waiting room. Thank you. They're very All right, small. So she she goes into one of the exam rooms and she kind of motions there's Abram only, and Aurelio Wait, in. there's only one of you. Why would you need more than one exam room? You, are, you can't do two people at once. <laughs> D- haven't you ever been yeah. to a doctor's office where you just yeah, sit for five minutes There's doing nothing? I was in a doctor's office last or uh, yesterday for an Regardless. hour. Regardless, right. waiting. All right, remember that we're on. We're recording this before you talk about what happened at your doctor's office appointment. Okay, just want to remember. Regardless, go Abram goes. In, it doesn't matter. You guys can talk about it later. I'm sorry, but Abram goes into the exam room and he I puts his fucking bag down. <laughs> I kick my feet back and forth. <laughs> The paper is very loud. <laughs> crinkle, crinkle. Nick's arguing with God real quick about the size of the room. <laughs> All right, so you take out that cold one. Crack it open. Uh, yeah. All right, you, you all take right. out the cold one, and it kills you all instantly. Oh my! Thank God. God. Anyway, I set it on the table. I'm assuming there's a table. Right. Uh, Nick grabs a pair of goggles, and she grabs a blade. A um, like one of those tiny mini saws that goes make me. All right. Anyway, she she powers that on, and she starts to, or no, she doesn't power it on yet, but she looks for a seam somewhere in the orb. Okay. 
Roll perception. All right, roll investigation. Investigation. Wherever that may be on my list. You can. There's 18 of them. I understand how it could be hard sometimes. Uh, you don't see one. It looks like a perfectly smooth spherical uh, object. All right. Um. So. She's going to start cutting just a small square, I guess. You, c Your blade touches the surface of the sphere, uh, and there's a harsh grinding sound. Uh, is that bad or good? A little dexterity. All right. <laughs> oh, God. I, uh, I, I keep my distance from all of that. Not a dexterity save, but good try. Oh. Uh. Then what, what do, how do I roll? Oh, like, uh, I, I just meant like a, well, I guess that would just be your dexterity save. I was gonna, I guess sleight of hand, but it's not like you're proficient in that anyway, so I guess you do roll that four. God. And, uh, your, the, the blade doles. Alright, she pulls it away. Fuck. Um. Is there any sparks flying up at all? No. Alright, she goes over to her tools and grabs a laser. One of those small hand handheld lasers. Okay, it's it's not exceptionally powerful, but I guess it is a step up. All right, and she's gonna try and attempt to cut it again. All right, all right. Another one. Uh, yes. What do you do? You just like you just beam this like small thin laser down like onto the onto yep. the target. Okay. She's trying to cut some sort of shape so that she can see the inner workings. All right. Uh. Well, just just to, so we're on the same page. It's not like you just pulled a lightsaber out of the shelf. It's it's no, like no, no, a, no, no. you pull over like a massive like vacuum cleaner kind of thing, and it has a long like thick cable as thick as your bicep that ends in like a small tool. And it's like the kind of laser that you'd see at the dentist for like working on cavities almost. I was thinking of like the one from Surgeon Simulator. No. Okay. Because that's a straight up lightsaber, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put oh, the kibosh on that Oh, I didn't think that was just one. a straight. I was thinking like looks wise, not it... power wise. But all right. Okay. I mean, You're the DM. Yeah, You're the DM. The the end looks like that, but it's still connected to a huge machine. Hmm. And it, a, a small thin red laser does come out of it. <clears throat> then quickly dissipates after like a few inches um, all right and you just you just stick it on there yep all right um nothing happens for like two minutes you're you're holding it on there and literally nothing happens at all uh, and then the laser shuts off Shit. um she clicks off the button, and she puts it back, and she rubs her temples. All right, cool. Those are my hardest tools. I know. And your eye doesn't work. Great. So both her arm and her eye don't work. Yeah, maybe you want to fix that? Yeah, she gets up, and she goes back to her room. And rummages around to see if she can find another motherboard for her. Aurelio and Abram, you are alone with the orb. I oh, touch yeah, it. Yeah, we are. <laughs> you touch it? I just touch it, yeah. It feels incredibly cold. Alright, it's not burning anything. Oh, that's good. Kind of just. Icy chill. Like holding ice cubes. Put it in my. Okay. What? What do you do? <laughs> I, I said I put it in my mouth. Then I was like, no, I. <laughs> um, do I see anything? Like, just he just out of curiosity just looks it over after she was done attempting to do something to it. Does it look any different? Yeah, the light's dimmed. Oh, uh, can I just observe the orb? Okay. Like, can I? I just want to give it a good old, a good old look. At... All right, you you see, like, but like a hardcore look. At... <laughs> All right, a good old you know hardcore what? look. You know what? Roll <laughs> investigation, and and we'll see how this goes. Okay. I'm not saying there is necessarily even something to Aurelio. <laughs> Aurelio, you <laughs> listen, man. Listen, man. Do me a solid, okay? Just do me a solid. Let me roll again. 
I'm I looked no, at it, and I need no, to look at you, it with my new I eye. Already, I warned you at the beginning of the campaign. I'm not going to let you roll doubly. I'm not going to let you roll infinitely on okay, like, various I, tasks. Okay, I, I roll intimidation. I don't know what you're I trying to I want it to, to tell me its secrets. I think you're going in circles at this point. <laughs> Abram, man, dude. Bro. Yes. Help. <laughs> okay, I stopped looking around the room after noticing that the lights have dimmed, and I try to inspect the orb closely. <laughs> okay. Let's... Perhaps it is agitated <laughs> by a wound on its hide. <laughs> Let me roll for What is this investigation? Animal handling. <laughs> Animal handling. It barks. Oh, I have a negative on this, so... Yeah, I, I have a negative, much too. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. It, perception is if you notice something Please is amiss. Help. Investigation is... You... Well, I, ten I did notice something was amiss. The lights are fucking dim. Yeah. But but it's a different subject. And that that, that was, like, perception. Yeah. This did you notice anything, you bro? It's a man, stone <laughs> ball on a table. <laughs> and no. it's cold. <laughs> he does point out... He, okay, he does say... The lights dimmed a little bit. I don't know if we should be trying to open this thing. You think that's maybe like its own like self defense? It uh, would just you, takes would power you roll away. On thirteen. Roll again. What? Roll Ooh. again, uh, Abram. On, oh, so he perception. gets to roll again. Yeah, because he actually <laughs> oh, for succeeded perception? at something. Because <laughs> I succeeded at something. He didn't roll okay. a zero, <laughs> which is okay. next to perception. impossible. What just happened? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh uh, my god. You, the lights only dimmed after she tried to use the laser on it for two minutes straight. <laughs> and they dimmed at the same time that the laser turned off. Oh! Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> he uh, did looks at the laser. When she was can, I, can I attempt to like turn on the laser again? I don't see why not. It's got a lot of like warning labels that are like don't point directly at eyes and like it's got like oh, fuck 14 that. I switches. pushed the button. Alright, you nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the laser, it doesn't, it, like, doesn't work at first, and then, like, a dim laser begins to, like, turn on again. And it's, like, not nearly as strong as it was before, but it's slowly building, like, very, 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 like, minutes before it finally reaches, yeah. like, full strength again. Okay, hey, Abram, I have, I have an idea, I have an idea. Keep, keep uh -huh. it on. Oh, uh, okay, it's not off. <laughs> okay. Wait, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna all hold the orb while you point the laser into it and... Can I point how dangerous that I, is? Nix comes I down think... and sees someone trying to like shoot an well, apple he, off someone's Abram, head. Abram just, <laughs> Abram just uh, he just points out that I think it just sucked the charge out of the laser. Right, but I want to see if it'll suck the charge out of that. If it thinks yeah, that I'm like also it. doing harm to it, do you think it'll take the power out of my eye? I don't know. Slam it into the ground and see what it does to you. <laughs> I slam it. I can't. I cannot. I don't mind you doing that, but I can't fucking believe that Abram taking it to the witch to get purified set fucking triggered you to the point of like tackling your co-mate, and now you two are fucking playing kickball with well, okay, the goddamn he, Abram orb, doesn't think cutting into it, lasering it. Aurelio is like, this is fine. I didn't want to consecrate it or purify it, but fuck, I'm just gonna chuck it on the concrete floor and see what. Happens. It's something he understands. <laughs> I, I completely understand, but fuck you. Spirit, How, out, roll okay? strength. Roll fucking strength. Roll strength. Spirit, roll strength. Come into the room. You said you try to roll it down. Yeah, I mean, it's been minutes. I feel like at this oh, point okay. that Nyx has found her. I'm you you kind of just, like, you gently, like, roll it out of your hand. And, like, you, you don't really throw it. You just kind of, like gently drop juggle it and it, it hits the floor with a loud bang and it, it doesn't really bounce like at all it just kind of like thuds against the ground with a loud like cracking sound against like the stone on on stone God. from this, uh -huh. this low powered throw right. um and nothing nothing happens to you that okay. you can perceive my eyes fine. cursed <laughs> what are you doing uh oh, it fell he, he, <laughs> He puts the laser back. <laughs> it, it, fell. it just rolled off by itself. Really weird. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. You, uh, he did the equivalent of just like gently nudging it with his pointer finger off the off the four foot tall gravity. table. Or three and a half. Uh, I wonder if she goes over... I was going to say, is she back? Yeah. She's back. Okay. 
that Abram it, just yeah, informs yeah, her that he thinks it, it uh, sucked the life out of the uh, laser. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist! What? Um, she was saying it, madame. Stop. It wasn't. It wasn't. Um, it sucked it the charge out of my... out of my laser? Yes. I mean, it also did the same thing to my eye. Is my eye working again? <laughs> yeah, it's it worked um, at, as soon as you went upstairs, at least time wise. All right. So it does take power out of a mechanical thing. I hate For this whatever thing. reason. Maybe Do you think it's storing it inside? It might be some sort of energy oh, storage me. unit. I hadn't actually thought about that. I just thought it was doing it in self defense. <laughs> You think it's sentient? It talked. That could have been a pre-recorded message. From what speaker? What mouth? I mean, do we know that it talked out loud? Or maybe it just talked in our mind? All of this sounds so crazy. Hmm. The thing itself is crazy! He's got a point. If you guys, it's not exactly normal. Yeah, if you guys want to like roll to like remember stuff that happened to you, then that's fine. Or I can try to like re-explain information. But I'm only gonna do it if you like roll really high on something. It sucked the power out of my robotic arm and my robotic eye, and then it sounded in our ears. Though it sounded more like it was coming from our minds. I remember that it didn't have a voice that you could really remember, and you can't remember exactly what it said. No, the like. It like a word picture that it gave to us of like seek light at, at land's end, but it could have said like find, like we could have interpreted it anyway. And I remember it being like super duper loud, but only mm -hmm. some people heard it. It painted a word picture. It did. It painted a word picture. It That's like, one way to describe. Talk. It. We just understood it. Yes, it sent a so, message. I think it did it idea. through mind. Playing the mind games with this. Um, well, since we can all agree on that it didn't actually speak, I suppose that's enough. Mm. Is there anyone in the city that you know who's, like, very into science and tech and history, Nyx, that we could bring this to that you can trust? Silt. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, roll... Insight, I guess. I don't know. This is information that Nyx could know. So, roll. Uh, yeah. Roll, what was it? Like, uh, science. Insight. Someone who's, like, really good with we'll science. We'll do insight. Um, <laughs> this is information that technically only Nyx knows because she's the only one who's been here, but I feel like yeah, she should she really share her. it. <laughs> but, I'll, uh, I'll share there, it. There, there's a university. <laughs> There's a, there's like a school like in the in the city. There's a, there's a, a university, and one of its biggest things is uh, history and anthropology. All right. Do you tell us this? Yes. We should go there. <laughs> Do I know any of the? I'll leave this up to you. Do it's I know anyone? Pavius University, and that's no. You didn't go there yourself. And I don't know, I don't think that you would know anybody who went there. You're actually kind of old, and you're not really of... I don't think that when you were going to college, if you did go to college, Oops, it would have been uh, uh, the place that you chose to go to. Right. Do you uh, know if, like, uh, they would report us to the police? It's not, it's, <laughs> it's not like a Lunaris, um, it's, it, it's a privately owned school, but, I mean... I guess you're just constantly going to have that risk, huh? It's up for you. It's you guys to try to figure out, like... I feel like that's our best bet. Alright, I, I don't know anybody out. at the university itself. But do you unfortunately. think... Unfortunately. But I think... the technology to help us? I think so. I think we can do that. I think we should definitely try to pull in some help there. Alright. Um... Abram? What time is that now? It's the morning. It's like 10. 
Right. Abram has been awfully silent. Did he leave? <laughs> He just he's, just listen- he's just listening, no. <laughs> he's listening, but uh, once you mention the school, he does uh, go to like pick up the orb from the cold ground. And he puts it back. I he puts it back in his bag. Fucking Aurelio wet noodling it on the ground. <laughs> listen. Can I, can I ask it's you a question, science. Aurelio? You made, a, you made a strength roll earlier, and it says four plus two. I don't, do you have a, I don't think you have a plus two. No, I'm at minus two. It's a, that's supposed to be a four. I mean, two. To be a two. Be a two. Yeah. Okay, so wow, you. I. I just want to make this clear that he really wet noodled that into the ground. Like he. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a minus two. He failed right. to really actually throw it. Like period. Yeah. Listen, I'm not a strong. I'm not. I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, may, maybe Lunaris knows what is. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll go there that's, one that's day. That's the sure. last. A last call. <laughs> <laughs> so, the school. Yeah, if yeah, nothing else, be, some nerd will really probably know what lights end may mean. Maybe. Alright. I, I know, since they specialize in history and anthropology, maybe we'll find somebody. Probably a professor would be our best bet. Do you know where the school is? Yeah, she knows where the school is. Yep. Lead the way! <laughs> okay. Alright. Yeah. Uh, Wait, can we have... A with tax? Uh, tax. What? All two, like all two of you talked at the same time, and I got nothing. <laughs> well, I, what? What did you say? Uh, Aurelio first, because I don't know. Just because what? Taxis. Public transport trains. Never mind then. Sub subway. <laughs> Too crowded. Or, I mean, yeah, you can do a taxi, but that's oh. gonna cost you money because it's private transport. <laughs> mm-hmm. Public transport. Oh, and I was just gonna yeah. ask if uh, we had something to put on our, like, actual hats or something to hide our, like, faces and hair or whatever during, like, walking or riding things. Nyx has a variety of beautiful sun hats. Thank God. I want the biggest (laughs) sun hat with a flower on it. It's it's absolutely huge, and it's a very deep, rich sapphire blue with, like, what looks to be a sunflower, like, on on the dome. Why do I own this? Because I said so. (laughs) Yeah? How tall are you again? 5'6". And I'm guessing just like asking like the character maker Bryn. Mm. Nyx is probably skinnier than Aurelio is, right? Yes. Okay, so... Okay, so back to Aurelio talking. Do you think you have any like larger size clothes by any chance or maybe like oversized clothing that you'd be willing to lend uh, yeah mad eye moody that'll definitely make it so nobody recognizes you <laughs> uh, i can take off this i can take i was gonna off. say can you take off your eye yeah oh my god oh, is there a real eye under it take it no. off <laughs> you take it off. it's a perfectly yeah. normal eye underneath <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um <laughs> You don't want to give me an, an eye patch for it, but uh, I could take it off. I think Zip might have left some clothes here. He might be your, about your size. <laughs> yeah, that totally makes sense. I don't. I mind. thought. Wait, does thought... it? Yeah, sure. Okay. I don't, uh, I don't want to spend five support. minutes figuring out whether or not you can change clothes. Uh, or not. She managed to. She manages to find a t-shirt, jacket, and um, pants in. Aurelio size. I change. I put my my old clothes in the basket. <laughs> okay. The basket or in Abram's home. bag. I'm not quite sure. Okay. <laughs> and I take bag. I take off my my eye, and there's just like a hole in my skull. Oh, Wait, I no, stare no, at no. it. That doesn't uh, draw Nick, any attention. Nick squints. Do you have like an eye patch or sunglasses? Maybe. I have an eye patch. I mean, feminine sunglasses work too. I don't really care. Uh, Nyx has a has her old blue eye patch, and she tosses it to him. I think I, I recognize put it on. that. <laughs> I think I recognize. What? She looks. At, she looks at his um, at his his eye, his robo eye. I everything. Think I know this. Everything just went quiet for me. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. Uh, can you hear us? Yeah, yes. Okay. Uh, Nyx squints at his 
I. I think I know this. You know my eye personally? <laughs> Where did you guys meet? I'm... I think it was... Um, did you install this yourself? No, no, no. I, I made it. But, uh, no way. I, I was pretty young when I did. <laughs> So, I mean, there's no way I could have installed it. Some doctor lady in, I don't know, the alleys or something. What does she look like? I don't know. Blonde? It was quite a long time ago. Probably like uh, five years. She messes with the dial on her arm, and now her hair is blonde. Like this? Wait, this... My god. I installed your eye! How come you look like you have an age? Because she didn't it's, go through puberty. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I went through puberty early. <laughs> um. So, if you installed yeah, it, that means you could you maybe like. Uh, uh, He's like twiddling with his fingers. He's like, maybe, maybe you could you could give it some updates or something. <laughs> I don't know how much I. From what I remember, you did a pretty all right job <laughs> making that <laughs> eye. I can see what I can do, but uh, that'll be have to be at some other time. We've got more important things to do. Yeah, Plus, yeah. if it's broken, if it's not broken, fix it. True. True. Yeah. Small world. Indeed, she will see at a later time and at the DM's discretion about upgrades for your eye. <laughs> I will not see until I put my eye back in. <laughs> Alright, so you guys leave? Yes. Alright, roll perception. Yeah, but I'm looking like a very fancy lady. All y'all roll perception. <laughs> Alright. Perception. Perception. Damn it! Aurelio, please stop. Aurelio, You're killing us. Higher than ten. <laughs> uh, Abram, you feel kind of like funny. In what way? That's all the way you're getting. <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> but you guys like what you... I... twenty, but fine. Not uh, yeah. Uh, just that just gives you a good I... idea. A good idea of how funny I feel. Yeah, really I feel very funny. Very, very. I just wanted to know if it was like a physical, like a physical thing, or like just a bad feeling. Uh, I. I don't like a if bad feeling. I guess sense. you don't feel like you're about to throw up. I guess you could say that it is indeed a bad feeling. Okay. Like, is he laughing or is he under? What? What? It's a funny <laughs> feeling. Okay. Well, anyway, oh. you guys go and you see a map okay. of like, subways and stuff like that, and, and you see that the the where the location that you need to, what train route you need to take, and uh, uh -huh. you guys descend the stairs. There's lots of people, hobos sleeping on benches. Nothing's really going on, and. Uh, uh, it's it's not really like super bad. It's not like New York like subway systems or anything like that. It's it's more like uh, a little bit up, pretty pretty upkept. Um, and eventually the train pulls along. I'm gonna say that you guys are capable of of scraping up the change to pay for it without actually like deducting any money from you guys right now. Is it, it crowded? Yeah, I mean, kinda. It's it's not not crowded. Is it thirteen high enough to pickpocket someone without them knowing? I hate this. I well, we have to have this thing where you have to declare what you want to do before you roll because failure has a consequence. So yeah. You, so you can't just be like, "Is this high enough to do something?" No, then I don't do it. So um, I'll let you. I'll let you for this time. If you want to say that yes, I want to pick some pocket somebody and then roll, then we'll we'll see. And whether you pass or fail is going to decide on that this upcoming roll. But if you fail, there's consequences. It's not just like, oh, you failed and you didn't get the money. Like, they'll probably notice if you fail. Oh, fine. Yeah, I just wanted to warn you. So if you want to try it, then, like, by all means. It is pretty No, we'll keep going. All right. The train pulls up. It slows down. The doors open. People pour out. People pour in. Uh, you guys hop on. Uh, it's, the, it's the B rail, and it actually goes underneath the water. Oh. That unnerves some people. At least it tell, at least it just tells you that you're not you're not gonna see it, but like you're you're made aware of that fact. And then you get on and the door's shut, 
and in the background you you see like there's a lot of people around you there's posters there's signs there's like things for concerts and bands and then like recruitment posters uh and you you see there's a tv playing like in the corner and it's on some kind of like shitty talk show like oprah kind of thing and you hear from it saying uh good afternoon folks and there's like lots of applause i'm brent henson and i'm here to give you my my quick story recently you'll never guess it but i was able to interview captain neo vo and then like a bunch of people are like clapping and like oh yeah so nice and that yes indeed we're going to be doing a nice quick story an expose on him and his his incredible adventurous piratey deeds out on the outer rim just after this break and then like it cuts to commercial hey like, what what were the names of the bands that were uh, on the posters the bands uh, yeah. y- you have uh, the electric wires, the fourteen cables, <laughs> uh, Blood that. Ox, which looks to be like a screamo band, like written in that shitty, like cliche font. Wait, was it called Blogs? What? No, Blood Ox. <laughs> Blood Ox. Blogs. <laughs> Blogs. <laughs> the Reckoning. And do all these people, all these bands, like look like they have like people in them? Like what? actual human people. <laughs> it, three of them ha- are like people, people, and then the fourth one is just vocaloids. <laughs> okay. Blood Ox is vocaloids, actually. Oh my, my god. god. <laughs> but but vocaloids have like voice actors, right? Uh, yeah, no, but it, it shows their like it shows their like fictitious like alter oh, okay. whatever you um, want to call it. Are any, any of these like all girl bands? It. Uh, the or like they all just like the, you know what Electric Wires is uh is an all girl an all girl pop band, and then Fourteen Cables is just like dudes traditional like the guy on the front has like a beard and then there's like a, a long haired like drummer in the background, the bassist is a girl but it, it doesn't seem to be like okay I gotcha yeah there's like two guitarists as well it's like a band of five in total I guess one two three four five yeah I think so okay thank you lead singer looks suspiciously like future David Grohl. <laughs> I, I got, I got this. Don't worry. Ugh. Guys, we're gonna be masquerading as vocaloids. <laughs> what okay, kind? the the B line eventually ends. Uh, and on the other side of the water, you're up top. You're up here. It's like quite a few minutes journey, but that it's a very fast train. Like the distance covered was exceptional, way faster than the diesel one that brought you guys here to begin with. Uh, you step out. And you see two patrol officers in bright white armor. Uh, They're walking your way. I roll for <laughs> stealth to um, blend into the crowd. Make it so. Please, dear God. <laughs> what? Uh. I roll... Uh, Everybody's got to declare an action before I before I destroy you all individually. All right, I go ahead, really. I roll deception and I grab Nick and I kiss her. <laughs> uh, to hide her face and mine. Uh, okay, okay, you, you still got to roll. Deception. No, no. no. <laughs> Wow! Incredible. Incre- except not really. You rolled like an eight. <laughs> you rolled an eight out of two hundred. Nine- Ninety-eight oh out of two hundred and seven is actually not an amazing roll. I'm dying. That's so impressive. Well done. Uh, I you oh, scared the kiss. fuck out of me. Holy shit! What a really arbitrary number of die. <laughs> All right, all right, Abram, come on, we gotta hit it hard. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, whip out your dick. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What do I do? <laughs> um, I mean, you don't have to join this like this improv acting session. No, can... I don't. But I like. What do I, I guess? I hide while they make. I know. I wanted to watch, but I was gonna take a camera out, but I don't have a camera. Uh, hold on, I'm just gonna try to hide while they do that. Okay. <laughs> Abram masquerades as our son and he gets on his knees. <laughs> I, just, I just stand by and applaud happily sniffling as if we're getting married. Uh, the patrol officers actually, they like look away from that because it like makes them feel a little awkward. 
Um, <laughs> throw up. And they just like walk. They just kind of walk on by. One D two hundred and seven. A lot just happened. A lot. A lot did just happen. Abram. Abram. After they leave, Abram just stares at them. I, <laughs> I like, just immediately oh, push. Oh, he, he's away like, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Uh, Nix <laughs> shoves Aurelio off the pro. What? Did, well, it worked. He did said, you want to get caught? <laughs> <laughs> control, she points control officers right at me. are still within earshot. I just want to warn you. Okay, I say. Okay. There's more where that came from later. Speech. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Abram, like, kind of <laughs> between them. <laughs> And he puts his hands on the smalls of their back and ushers them along. <laughs> All right, you move forward, and several people are just like giving you kind of weird looks, but nobody like <laughs> looks at you for longer than like two seconds because they're just like, "I right, that was weird." There uh, is murder. You, you pass in by. Eye. You go up some stairs, and you come out at another part of the city. The space elevator is is far to the south of you, as opposed to the north. It seems to be a good way to judge navigation. There's like hot dog vendors, dogs. Um, the people around you are wearing more like suits, fancy things, and the the towers here are more like gla like glass as opposed to just like steel and ceramic and and cement. Um, and you you keep heading north, and you do see some signs that that point out Pavius New U uh, University, and then like they'll have like an arrow directing like cars, but you guys are just walking along. So there's like a passenger. Uh, sidewalk street, like, the width is, like, roughly the size of a normal sidewalk that goes, like, over. It's like a passenger bridge, a person bridge. Civilians. Uh, what yes. are the people that aren't driving cars called? <laughs> Targets. Um, pedestrians. Tar a target bridge. Pedestrians. So you just, like, walk on over, and you, and you get there pretty quickly. You come up on this big square building with, like, a, a huge donut-like glass structure, like, connected to it. It has, like, a helicopter pad. Like, it's very fancy, and it, it even has, like, grass and, like, trees, like, lining the, the walkways that lead towards it. The city kind of dies away, and it gives it a little bit of space. This place is, like, its own little building nearby the, the waterfront hmm. that has its own its own little, like, carved-out uh, few acres. It's made of several buildings, but there's there's one very obvious big one that's, like, welcome. Welcome to my abode. Cute. Uh, there's lots of people walking around. Most of them appear to be uh, like administrative workers. You don't see too many students, but you do see people with backpacks and, and messenger bags and, and things like that. And uh, you you just keep on walking, and I'm assuming just pretend to to get on in there. Mm -hmm. uh, you 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 get you get towards there, and you you see that this actually has a a sign that that reads that there's also like partial uh, uh, opening to the public, small museum. Fancy. It's like history of Nupava. Uh, it is 9.30. I don't mind going a little bit more, if you guys don't mind. I, I don't have much going on tomorrow. Uh, I, I have, have... Uh, <laughs> I have my appointment tomorrow that I've got going on. All right, and well, then, then I'm I also have some stuff I need to do. Alright, stop the recording here. Alright. See you all later. <laughs>